This is a short introduction to Edit NC Release 10.3. With this release, we've added tabs to the top of the screen. You can see them here. Makes it easier to select from amongst the open files. We've added support for many lathe cycles. We've added A-axis positioning. Made some improvements to the resequencing function, mostly related to the lathe cycle support. Users can now specify a uh, custom background color for read-only files and we've added the ability to drag a file into the editor in order to open it. The tabs are easy to illustrate. You simply click on a tab in order to see the associated files. You can still work uh, with individual windows if you prefer. Continue to use the tabs to select the, the file or you can choose to turn them off entirely if you'd rather work without them. Now let's look at some of the new lathe cycle support. We'll start by changing the appearance a little bit here, make it a little bit easier to see. Go to larger text. We'll be looking at a G71 stock removal command. This uses P and Q words in order to uh, specify the, the contour that you'll be working with. So I'm going to highlight those two words, make them a little bit easier to see. We'll change the, the background colors, make them, uh, make them bold. Here's a G71 uh, stock removal command used for, for roughing. The P word here, P11, indicates that the contour we're working with starts at sequence number 11. Q indicates that it ends down at 24. And then we have a contouring command down here, G70 command, using it that defines uh, the boundaries of that, that same contour. We can back plot it like so. If we go in and change, uh, change some parameters here, we'll uh, leave a little bit more, a little bit more stock, a little bit more stock there, so that you can see the effect refresh it, you can see the additional stock remaining. We look at these individually, that's the roughing cycle and we don't see the contour itself down here but if we continue down to the end of the program the G70 command contour itself is displayed here. That's a G71 type 1 command. Uh, in just a second, we'll look at a G71 type 2, which allows uh, more complex roughing paths to be developed. I should mention that there are two variants of the G71 in many of these commands that are uh, where you define the command in either a single line or two lines. Uh, this one is a single line. We handle uh, both sorts of command definitions. Now let's look at a type 2 G71 command. This one happens to use two lines for its definition. Uh, that's not what makes it a type 2 command. It's simply uh, some controls require the use of two lines to, uh, to define these commands. The type 2 allows more complex toolpaths to be developed. You can see that with the Type 2 G71 command, we're allowed to, to use these pockets. Uh, I don't claim that this toolpath would necessarily properly rough that part. We're just using it as an illustration of our ability to backplot the geometry. Now here's a list of the uh, other cycles that have been implemented. Some of these have uh, multiple variants as far as how they're defined. Some are single line, some are double line. Uh, in those cases we handle handle both formats. Now let's look at a new feature that we've added to resequencing. Uh, if we were to resequence this program as it stands with this P word referring to the uh, this P word referring to this sequence number and this Q word referring to this sequence number. If we were to resequence these and change uh, just the sequence numbers, then the program would be uh, would no longer be valid. 
So let's, uh, first of all, let's pretty it up a little bit, make it a little bit easier to read by inserting spaces in reasonable locations. And we'll go back to resequencing. And this, there's no option uh, required here. It just happens under the covers. If we were to decide to uh, resequence this, we'll go to an increment of 1. And uh, well, we'll start at 1 also. We'll suppress leading zeros. And let's just number the uh, sequence, the blocks that are currently sequence numbered. If we go in and we make that change, you'll see that the first G71 command up here, uh, this one, now refers to sequence numbers 1 and 2. So if we go back and we backplot this program, even though we've resequenced it, uh, the program still does does what we intended. If we make a mistake here, if we do something uh, stupid, like attempt to remove all the sequence numbers when in fact they're required by both this G71 and G70 commands, if we go in and say remove them, remove all the sequence numbers, we get an error message that these lines will have no sequence number we get this several times simply because the, the numbers occur multiple times within the commands. Uh, so it tells us that if we do that, and I went ahead and did it, then this program is no longer valid. If we attempt to backplot it now, we get error messages over here, and we get a uh, just totally a, an incorrect, uh, incorrect, it's a correct backplot, but the program is no longer valid. Having made that mistake, we can go back do a control Z, repair the damage, and continue on. But you can't say that we weren't warned. Now at 10.3 we've added A axis, A axis indexing support to the back plotter. That looks like this. This is the uh, program that looks sort of like a keyhole that we use for for demonstrations frequently. In this case, uh, this we've we've made changes. We've repeated it three times and with a, some A-axis motion in between uh, each repetition as you might do if you were making multiple uh, multiple parts on some sort of a fixture and that's that's shown here. We can change the colors to be to represent axis changes and it's, it's pretty much like our B-axis support uh, with the exception that quite obviously it refers to the A axis. And finally we've added a user specified background color for read only files. Support for read only files is not new. That's been in Edit NC for a long time. What is new is the ability to go to the Edit Options uh, Appearance dialog, go down here, set a read only file background color, and then any file that's read only will have a background of that color. So if we go in and read this file in, for example, uh, it now appears in that color. If we read it in a second time, the second copy is read-only. says that up here. If I try to make changes to it, I can't. And it's just a way of uh, differentiating between a file that can be edited and a file that can't. So to review, in release 10.3 of EditNC, we've edited tabs to make selecting open files easier. We've added lathe cycles to the analysis functions, uh, both general analysis and backplotting. We can drag a file from a list, say from Windows Explorer, onto an open editor and have the file open. We've added A-axis positioning to the backplotter. Uh, there have been some resequencing improvements by primarily related to the uh, lathe cycles and user-specified read-only file background color. So thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you next release.